All right, cool. We're getting y'all. Oh, dude, I love it. It's all dark and shit. I love it. That's good. That's good. All right, cats. All right. Rockstar Court over here. I'm here at the vibe. And right now, before me, I have the illustrious <laughs> and probably one of the better SoCal bands uh, that I have ever worked with and seen um, in forever. In Silence. I love these guys. These guys were one of my uh, first few bands I got to work with with uh, when I was doing Sin Sundays here, and they were an amazing band. Always hardworking, always like trying to get the fans out and putting on their best performances for me, and that's what was great. You know, I love these guys. Um, so let's get an introduction with everybody here, uh, starting with you, of course. West guitars, backup vocals. Nice. Toby guitars. Bill bass. Bradley vocals. All right, so <clears throat> tell everybody. All right, who's 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 the original members of this band? We, obviously, we know you two. So, um, you guys gone through some member changes. Your brothers, and um, you guys uh, originate out of uh, Hemet, right, or San Jacinto? Hemet. 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 And um, and you know when you guys came out to Sin Sunday is the first time, man, like. You guys came out, and you blew, I think you blew everybody out of the water, and I think you, you turned some heads as to, like, wow. You know, you, you made them think, wow, this is metal. Like, this is as good as it can get with you guys. When did you guys um, start In Silence? Uh, or were you guys a band beforehand? Um, give us a little history on In Silence. Um, well, I guess we started, when did we start? Like 2003? 2003. 2003 is in silence. Um, it's kind of been in silence. Uh, my brother came down from Washington. Um, he was in a band called Redline up there, and I called him up and said I had this project going on down here in California. I was like, you can come down, check it out, and see what you think. And a week later, he shows up and brought kind of all my gear. <laughs> so, so you, you know? guys didn't live in the same area, huh? No, he was. He came down from Washington State in the Seattle area. And he moved all the way down there and packed his house up and said, fuck it, I'll come down. I sent him a demo and he checked it out. He was like, yeah, that's something I'm interested in. So he came so, down. And so how long, I mean, when, were you guys raised apart or? No, no. No, we, no, no, no. You we just, just like separated when you like got, you know, it was time to move out of the house and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we kind of went different ways and I mean, he was more down here and the, the metal scene was really coming alive in the Riverside area when we were doing all the Sin Sunday shows. And, and, Man, Seattle was kind of falling apart as far as metal goes, and I mean it has its ups and downs now. But I mean that's why I came down here. I wanted to come to Hollywood. Cause you show a lot of click shows. with each other. Like you guys have been playing together forever. Oh, we got riffs from the bedroom, stoned out of them. <laughs> <laughs> Way back, you know, listening to King Diamond and Marshall Fade, all of our influences. I mean, it's been a it's it's been a long road. We've got a lot of wrenches in the gears. I mean, we got some great new talent in the band. We first took on with some new member of Red. Our new vocalist. singer, new bass player. A recent addition to the band. Brand new, right here. With first show, Bill, first Bill. show tonight. Oh. First show, really? First show tonight. Ch <laughs> popped your cherry at the vibe. <laughs> Gotta love that. <laughs> Gotta love that. Oh, we're, we, don't, we don't let up either. I mean, we gave him a month. We said, you need to have your chops down. And we booked the first show. I mean, the first show, it was actually sooner than that. Right. Two, you know, two weeks we gave him. So yeah. They need to have this set down. And, you know, we're doing bass additions, and he's in the band. And so now, now you guys, you, you guys have gotten a sound that has garnered uh, a good amount of attention from record labels and stuff. Metal Blade, I believe, was one that was courting you guys. Uh, what happened with that situation? If you don't mind talking about it. Well, I don't know. It's kind of a under the wraps kind of thing. Uh, basically, we were signed two years ago to an independent label called Blue Label Records and they were looking to do the old sell-off deal, you know, kind of, you know, make a little money kind of thing. To make a long story short, the guy that owned the Blue Label Project, he wanted a little too much for what ha what they wanted to pay at the time. So it was, uh, we didn't end up going that direction. Gotcha. They wouldn't let us go. All right, gotcha, so, gotcha. All about money. In the end, it was all about money and he didn't want to let us go for what he had in 
invested. He wanted he wanted a goose egg to fund his own project. We're going to hold any punches back when it comes to that. Now you've established yourselves uh, in, in the SoCal scene with a pretty good reputation for being, uh, you know, obviously talented, but um, also hardworking and and smart about um, the music that you're putting together. Um, and, and I want to kind of I want to talk to these guys right here because um, obviously they're the newest members. Um, well, he being the newest, yeah, new, the fresher, new, fresh, new, and, <laughs> and he's and you're obviously a little bit more broken in. Um, and, and I want to know how you guys um, lost your two members originally, and then how you guys came across these talented motherfuckers. Because, I mean, uh, to establish what you have done already as, as a group, and then to say, okay, we, now we got to look for someone to replace. You know, how did you come across these guys, and what was your what was your standard that you kind of set to 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 uh, you know, while you were auditioning uh, members, you know, what was the standard that you set for these guys to try to meet? You would have, <laughs> what you got, Wes? Yeah. You would have loved vocal tryouts. We tried out, I mean, we had 25. We had a lot of Roar! We had some, <laughs> some great comedy. I mean, we would be millionaires. We would have filmed a lot of, we had a fight. We had two guys come out at once. Whoa. And it was actually a fight at our band room, our studio. Between the two guys that were trying out, we'd bring one guy in, He'd audition for three or four songs, send him out with a fucking, like, a, like you know, give me a hard fucking look to the other guy. That guy would come in and give us four songs and say, all right, man, let's hear the other two. And they'd be fucking, next thing you know, we'd start making a decision, and they were outside duking it out in the parking lot. Wow. So after about 25 heads that came through, um, it was a lot of searching, you know, we do the whole internet thing and, you know, looking on MySpace. I found Brett, our old bass player, me and Jimmy, we sat down. And, uh, you know, we listened to some of his tracks. At the time, I think he was in Oregon. Uh, yeah. He was up there working. And uh, I was kind of like, well, you know, we kind of like what you got going here. And another guy, uh, Brad, that, that's big out in the IE. Yeah. Yeah, Brad we know him, no Brad. B-Rad. 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 Hollis, I think his name. Brad Hollis from Brad Contortion. Hall. And he was Contortion, also in the band One Theory. Flatline. Flatline. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Flatline. And he kind of kind of got bred on the team said that you know this is kind of something maybe you want to go up and take a look at at least so we brought rep bread up I don't know it was like a week night or something and yeah. came out and he did some freestyle stuff or some of the newer material that we had that we didn't have any vocals to and we we're kind of like okay well let's you know just take it a step further and then we started you know starting to lay some stuff down that was kind of permanent or at least it was a foundation and then it kind of went from there and we kind of started just taking off in that direction with it so yeah that was two years ago Two, two years, years ago. ago now. Now, where did where did you uh, start off from? Um, San Diego. I mean, for for your vocals and stuff, you obviously ain't no rookie, so uh, you didn't just pick a, pick up a mic and start screaming, did you? No, no, no. No, I actually, I my singing started in high school in musical theater, and then uh, just I was always into metal as a kid. And I just grew up in in, in the metal scene, and then I I started uh, getting in bands when I was nineteen, and I've been doing it ever since. You know, and, and and I've been trying to find the right group of people to do it with, and I finally found them. You know what I mean? It's like right. it, we just kind of like fell into each other a little bit, and it worked. It worked. Yeah, I got, I gotta, <laughs> I, I gotta say that you, you're the strongest and probably the best singer that we've had so far. No, no disrespect to Damien. Uh, much love to Damien. Uh, um, and uh, he was the original singer. Uh, he he had his part, but like you fill out your part very well, and um, I, you definitely are as much of in silence as the brothers are here. So, uh, what about you, no, I sir? For, I was waiting for the story, <laughs> yeah. sir. I was, wait, I was waiting for the story. No, 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 I'm, the story. Let's tell him a story. You want a story? Well, I, got, I, got, I got a call from uh, Wes over here, and he said, "Hey, you still play? You still a musician?" And uh, of course the answer is yes, but I haven't picked up a bass to play live in like two years, so it's been a while. But uh, I said, oh, let me think about it, because I, you know, I got whatever everybody else got. You know, you got a schedule, you got to keep, and you're doing your thing. Out of the blue comes a comes a wrench. But I called him back less than a minute later, and he said, yeah, come down. But uh, as to why and how they got around to saying, hey, we got this guy's number, let's call him. I don't know. But I have known him for about six, seven years now. Yeah. Like that. Really? Uh, played with them live uh, with my other bands, uh, different projects I've done, you know, um, however big or small, and I've just kept running into them over and over again, you know, so. Um, 
always a fan and it's an honor to be here now, you know. So good times. Good All right, so so uh, in silence, do you yeah. – what what's uh, what's what's going on currently right now for In Silence? In Silence has got a full length CD finally. Fuck finally yes. went out June fifteenth. Uh, we'll finalize their release date. Um, and we're looking to do some touring coming up. Uh, nothing set in stone, but uh, we're out there looking for you know some of the bands, some of the bigger stuff to jump onto. Um, about all we can really say about that at this point. Yeah, we're on Downport Records. We ended up signing Indie again with another great independent label. Maybe ask him. You know, in silence? <laughs> <laughs> we're, not we're, in his way, we're in his way, apparently. Uh, we did a full length CD. I mean, we had a great time in the studio. We worked with the production manager, Larry Bowen. It was a good time. We did, did it through uh, Lunchbox Studios, and it was a blast. I mean, we spent a lot of time. We got to actually, you know, romance the instrument a little bit and work with our guitar tones, work with the drums. I mean, we had the top gear. We have had, you know, all sorts of sample stuff that we've done in the CD. I mean, we've really put our hearts into this one. I mean, the best way to, I can say, to listen to the CD when you get it, hopefully, I mean, buy it. But get a bag of weed, sit down <laughs> and listen to this CD because yeah. it has a lot of old school, it has a lot of new school, it has a lot of screaming, it has, I mean, there's singing, there's all sorts of stuff. It's a well-rounded I heard a, I heard a, a, a tin of Shadows Fall in there, actually, some other stuff. Man. Huge influence. Good influence. <laughs> I mean, we're, killer band. Yeah, we're, we're thrash metal at starting out, but, I mean, we've kind of come into our own. I mean, we, we try not to sound like any band out there. I mean, we just taken a lot of our, all of our influences and really tried to come up with our own unique stuff, whether people like it or not. I mean, if we're not fitting in, we really don't care. That's the best way to describe that. Um, so, uh, uh, we got about three and a half, two and a half minutes here. So, uh, where, uh, where, where can people yeah, find... By chance. No, bro. I love that. I love that. Yeah, I love know. Riverside. I love my Riverside. I'm telling you. We don't have any cigarettes. Sorry. I can actually honestly say that. Um. So, because I mean, there's so much to this interview. Like, I want to know like the biggest band that you guys worked with, biggest show that you guys ever done. I mean, there's so much to really talk about with you guys. Um, but I'm sure that some of that information is on your, online. Uh, so where can people find out about In Silence? Where can they communicate with you um, and, and, uh, and handle all that business? Well, you go to MySpace. What is it? MySpace. Nobody tell who goes to MySpace. Know, Everybody I goes there. I mean, we, we, we we never, we're never on there. Yeah. I mean, our website guy handles that stuff. But, I mean, the best way to talk to us personally, I mean, book and shows, anything like that, you go to Facebook. I mean, that's go to a show. All right. where you so what's your Facebook? Go to a show. Uh, <laughs> In Silence. Look it up. In, in silence, silence metal. It's under in silence metal. So. In silence Reverb metal. Nation. Yeah. Reverb Nation. Yeah, Reverb Nation. Uh, yeah. Reverb Nation. You go to weird. MySpace. It's in silence the band. Okay. Um, my, you know, obviously MySpace.com backslash in silence the band, and then the the uh, the uh, Reverb Nation one. I do. I don't, I'm not sure what that one. It's just under in silence metal. I mean, you can check all our metal. YouTube stuff out. You can check. Yeah, this will be up on YouTube. This will be an interview, a little more in depth. Um, and then one of these days, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get more in depth with you guys. We'll have, cause I, I mean, there's road stories. I'm sure you guys can fucking talk about. <laughs> well, there is a guy missing, obviously. And, uh, I think he's over there somewhere, but, uh, uh, we also brought Benny on as our drummer. Uh -huh. and Benny used to be in, uh, in, uh, in vitro. Uh, in vitro. Yeah, that's right. That's yeah, right. For in vitro and, and that guy is one hell of an addition. So, Wizards. Yeah, very happy. Oh yeah, man. We got You know what? Yeah. There's so much more. And you know what? I'm, and I'm sad that we couldn't get it all. But the fact that uh, you guys are here now and we got this much so far, and we're gonna come back and we'll do another interview with you guys. Part two. Uh, we'll do a part two on you guys. But for right now, we need to get inside, check out Despite the Wolves, and handle business and give them a little support. The boys from San Diego. So. Oh, there's Benny right there. Right at the end of the interview with 10 seconds left. Anything you want to say real quick? This is in silence. Did you see the show? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That's right. All right, guys. In silence. Thank you very much. Uh, we're out of here. Happy birthday. Thanks.
Good stuff, man. Yeah.